linked me a YouTube video of it at one point a while back. It was like some random dude's YouTube video that had like a hundred views of him playing DVD in beta. And it was in there, but you, you would literally have to find beta footage for that. I didn't stream back in beta. Like I played in beta, but I, I didn't start streaming until like September or maybe August. Either August or September is when I started streaming. So like, I don't have any personal clips. I did play during Double Window Stack. I just didn't stream. I didn't make content. Less than three love you, Tofu. Tofu love, Tofu love. But yeah, for, there's there, uh, there's a lot of misinformation about Double Window Shack, and a lot of people claim that it was in the game on live, and it wasn't. It was not. It, it was never in the live game. It was only in the beta. Like people abuse the fuck out of that shit in beta, though. I actually remember. I have a funny story about Double Window Shack. This is a pretty disgusting setup. Um. When 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 the beta first came out, I basically like only played kill your friends with like my group of friends, right? Like I never really played public matches. I just played kill your friends with like the friends that basically like me like me and my friends that played like Left 4 Dead together. I only played kill your friends and they kind of got bored of it and like moved on and I was like, "You know what? I like this game. I'm going to keep playing it." So I tried to queue up for like a public match and I and I played killer and I got a rank 1 survivor, which was tough because the, like literally the beta was only active for like 3 or 4 days. So like being rank one of the beta meant that they were no lifing the fuck out of it. I remember like loading into the lobby and everybody had the gray icons and one had like a big red one with like a special icon. And I was like, what the fuck is that? I wish I knew who it was. Cause honestly, like looking back, if I probably knew who it was like now, but I remember just seeing the icon and being like, what the hell is that? And then dude, all the game, the motherfucker just ran to shack. And I was like, what the fuck do I do about this? The dude literally just every single time I would see him, he would go straight to shack every single fucking time. And I was just like, what the fuck? And that's how I discovered Double Window Shack, dude. Me and my friends did not discover that shit. We had no idea. We were dirty casuals. That motherfucker was not a dirty casual. He knew. He knew the tech. That motherfucker knew the tech. He was all about it. I like this game. It all went downhill from there. No, no, no. I still like the game, dude. It's just a lot different than it used to be, you know? <laughs> she's looking like she's about to vault into me. That was fucking confusing. Do you know what doctor does, buddy? I didn't even get the shock. <laughs> Trying to do Dre tech and I can't even get the fucking shock. She's probably going to dead hard, right? No, actually. Interesting. Remember old ruin? Yeah, old ruin was silly. Hi, Hex Flashlights. How are you? Cross, what up, man? I miss being able to DS at any, at any time? Bro, fuck that. Fuck that, dude. Old DS, man. See, that's... Dude, old DS brings back a, number, a fucking another memory. There's so many, like, streamers that I remember playing against for the first time and then having, like, a very dumb experience and then remembering it. I remember the first time I ever went against inboxes. Do you guys know inboxes? Anyone in here, like, an old H1Z1 fan? I've always loved boxes. I've always been a big fan of them. And I ran into him as killer one day back in like 2016. And he had a full fucking squad. It was like him and Irish and a couple other people. If anybody's an old school player, you probably remember Irish. It was like him, Irish, Locker Senpai, and like some other people. And they all had DS. It was fucking awful, dude. I got shit on. I was like just chilling and trying to play Billy. Every single person I picked up DS'd me. Wow, she really saved her dead hard that long. That's crazy. I was like trying to bait it. She's a genius. If you guys don't know, old DS, you like it like like you guys like you guys know how like DS works now, how you can stun people and they got picked up. Like that crow just flew here. Someone's here, by the way. Um Old DS was just the first time you get picked up. It would just it would just happen every single time. Right? A crow flew here, did it not? Am I fucking crazy? Am I insane? Someone's here, are they not? Was I seeing things? A crow did fly, didn't it? Bro, I might be losing my mind. Did I not see a crow fly? Am I making that up? Anyway, yeah, it was... Uh, it literally just worked on your first pickup no matter what. It, it, it wasn't even with the, with the obsession. It, it, it got changed multiple times. They changed it so they only worked with the obsession. But at first, it was just... It worked with everybody. Like it doesn't. It didn't matter if you're obsession or whatever. Just the first time you got picked up, you just got a free escape. 
every single survivor just got one free escape no matter what as long as they could hit the skill check it was absurd like it was actually so fucking absurd this oh my dude i just had a huge lag spike what the fuck was that i was like trying to turn and i lagged and i literally didn't even turn the full way i was gonna turn that was weird just juggle them oh yeah that's what you did that's what you did you just juggled them the memories of juggling yep yeah dude the old fucking juggling tech yeah dude dude god i i'm sorry you guys got me going down memory lane now i'm I, i'm i sound like an old fuck like fucking rambling about how things used to be i'm sorry but uh, uh, the way DS works is that everybody got it, but it didn't happen during the animation of picking up. Like, basically what would happen is, like, like, the killer would pick you up, and then while they were carrying you, like, like you know, like, they would carry you, like, 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 you know, like, maybe one or two steps, and then you would get the skill check. Like, like, the skill check didn't come in right away. It kind of, like, took a little bit. So, what killers did is they would juggle survivors. Like, they would basically, are you gonna dead hurt for this? They would basically down you. They would pick you up and carry you a couple steps and then drop you before you could hit the skill check. Pick you back up, carry you a, a, a few steps, drop you again. So basically, like, if I was if I wanted to hook this Kate at this hook, I would, like, pick her up, carry her a couple steps, drop her. Pick her up, carry her a couple steps, drop her. Pick her up, carry her a couple steps, drop her. And I would do it the whole way to the hook to avoid DS. Like, every killer did that. Like, everyone did that back in the day. It was so obnoxious. Like, even if you didn't even have DS. Like I like I like I wouldn't even run DS and, and, and motherfuckers would still juggle me. I'm just like, what the fuck? That's the obsession. I kind of want to leave him alone because of Stabiffle. It was a silly game, dude. It was a it was a silly time back then. What are you doing? Are you okay? I can't fucking remember who has dead heart and who doesn't. I thought she didn't have dead heart. Who doesn't have that? Someone here didn't have dead heart. Was it Claudette? I think it was Claudette didn't have dead heart. My old man brain's fucking me. I could have sworn it was Meg, but apparently I was wrong. Apparently I'm fucking dumb. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I don't want to lose stacks though. I'm doing it. I don't care. Claudette does have dead heart. What? Who doesn't have dead heart then? I downed somebody without them dead hearting. Who was it? Kate? Bro, I, I can't. I'm 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 lost. You grabbed Meg as she was vaulting. She never got a chance. Oh. Who who was it that I downed at this path pallet? I downed somebody at that path pallet over there where remember I was like, are you gonna dead hard? Are you gonna dead hard? And then they didn't. Who was it? Was that Kate? I'm too busy ranting, I can't remember. That was Kate. Okay. See, I thought that was Meg. I'm fucking stupid. I'm too, I'm too dumb. I, I don't, I'm gonna blame it on you guys for making me reminisce, but in reality, it's just that I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> it's, it's not your fault at all. It's 100% that I'm fucking stupid. Hey, man. So she doesn't, right? If she would've dead-hearted me just now, I'd've been pissed at you guys. I would've been mad. I would've been mad at you, chat. So I was gonna get pissed in the post game if you juggled them too? Oh yeah, there was a big like, there was a big, like, controversy on whether you should juggle survivors or not. I was actually, believe it or not, I was on the side of not juggling. I was like, suck it up, killers, you pussies. Just eat the DS and kill them anyway. Because, in reality, most survivors sucked at the game back then. So, like, it was pretty easy to just eat DSs and kill people anyway. But I really don't, like, looking back, I don't blame people for juggling at all. Like, that shit was bullshit. Hi. Hey, Dre would be proud. Let's go. Was old DS more annoying than old Metal of Man? Probably not, because at least with DS, you like knew it was coming and you could juggle, right? Like Metal of Man, there was really no way to like stop it or know it was coming or anything. Like it just happened, you know? Did you ever go against the Marth D-Pip squad? No, I never did. Mm -mm. Oh, it's fucking Doctor Illusion, dude. Like, up on the roofs and shit.
With OG Metal Mom, it was just get fucked or play nurse. Yeah. I mean, or or you could just play not not an M1 killer. Because old Metal Mom only worked with with like basic attacks. So if you played someone like Huntress, you were you were fine. You were you were you were good. It only fucked you over if you played an M1 killer. Which was a shame because most of the M1 killers are weak, right? It's like it hard punished the like weakest killers. With the exception of like maybe nurse. That was a good prediction from her, but I also had a feeling she was going to do it. I should have did this earlier. That was too late. I was looking at chat. She could have just vaulted that window. That was so late. That's a fake pallet dog. Did she? Does she? She doesn't. Bump. Bum, bum. Remember having to run DS just so killers wouldn't hard tunnel the first survivor they hooked? I mean, that was pretty recent even. That wasn't even that long ago. That was semi-recent. Because if there was no obsession, they would just hard tunnel. Yeah, that was even fucking recent. Hey, Dobu, who do you think is a better killer? You or Zubat? Definitely Zubat. Like, literally not a single doubt in my mind. It's definitely Zubat. Not sure if I remember correctly, but didn't exhaustion used to recover faster when crouching? Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that was a thing. I think that was a thing, but this might be one of those, like, fucking Mandela moments. I don't know, dude. I'm pretty sure that was a thing, yeah. Maybe? It, I, I think, I think, that, I think, if, if I remember correctly, I think that was actually a bug. Like, I think that was a thing, but it wasn't, like, an intended thing, and then they patched it, like, the next patch. Because it wasn't, like, intended. It was, like, a thing that someone discovered, and then they, like, fixed it immediately. If I remember correctly. I don't think that was ever, like, a designed thing. I don't think I get this. Wow, I do get that. Interesting. I didn't even think I would. Oh, she's fast. Smash it or lot or I guess it had to be smash it, right? I was gonna say live, but that makes no fucking sense. <laughs> Night later Zubat? I mean fuck if I know, dude. That it's too hard to say. Like, I think comparing killer players is fucking stupid. Like Zubat is not interested in like playing comp or like trying to prove that he's the best, so it's hard to say, right? Like, Nightlight is obviously a very, very, like, known comp killer who, like, has proven himself in the comp scene to be a very, very god-tier killer. And Zubat, like, has a ton of talent. And if Zubat cared enough, maybe he can do the same thing and do better, but we'll never know because Zubat doesn't care enough to actually compete. So, it's hard to say. You know what I mean? Logically, you'd probably want to say Nightlight because Nightlight obviously plays comp and, like, wins tournaments and shit. But Zubat is a fucking talented motherfucker. Like, that man... Zubat is like literally like he's one of those people and I fucking hate him for it who like is just good at every fucking game he plays I hate it. I fucking hate it, man I remember when apex legends first came out I used to play with him and Scott sometimes and I remember like I grinded that game for like a month to get good enough to to, to uh, Drop a 20 kill there was like a badge you would get if you if you got 20 kills in a game And I remember I grinded for like a month to get good enough to fucking get that 20k badge and Zubat was doing it on like day two on like day fucking two, he was like dropping 20 bombs. And I'm like, the fuck? How are you just already amazing in this game? Can you can you not? Can you like maybe need to practice like me? What is this? It was bullshit. The motherfucker just picks up games. It's automatically a god at him. It's like, how? Fucking hell.